Okay, a question that we get a lot is um, about how our paints are made and why it's so different from a conventional paint. Um, so what I wanted to show you today is just a very brief um, introduction to how linseed oil paint is made. Um, you, some of you might know the difference between the raw linseed oil and the boiled linseed oil. Um, our paint is actually all made using boiled linseed oil because of the change in viscosity and the drying um, uh, properties of it compared to a raw linseed oil which doesn't really dry very well on its own. So we're going to, um, for this test, we're going to use um, the boiled linseed oil and uh, let's, let's make some linseed paint. So, um, start with a bit of pigment. We use raw earth pigments wherever possible. This is actually a, um, a zinc white, um, so not exactly a raw earth, but um, natural, naturally occurring anyway. Um, so we put a little bit of the pigment on the, on the board. probably do and then what we're going to do is a little bit of the boiled oil and just drizzle a little bit on there and you really don't need much to begin with um, at all because the whole um, point is that you want to create a paste that's what we're looking for to begin with so with um, the glass muller, I'm using this one today, um, we can just very carefully start to uh, grind the two. And essentially all I'm doing is making paint in the same way the old masters used to make it. Um, so they have like a whole um, a battery, a whole team of um, uh, guys which were guys back then, uh, <laughs> a, whole, a bunch of guys just making pigments all day long. Um, so in, in readiness for, um, uh, for the actual artist to use. Um, so what you can see is that very quickly it changes into a lovely paste. And what you can actually see with uh, the zinc white is that the boiled oil gives it just a slight hint of warmth to it. Uh, just a little bit of a golden kind of sheen on it, um, which makes it perfect for the use on historic buildings as well. So what we do is, once this has been really properly ground and you're looking for a really perfectly smooth consistency, which, you know, we already have. Uh, this is essentially it. So we can actually get a brush. Put a little bit of paint on the brush. So you have really not made an awful lot of paint, but it doesn't need much. And it can go straight onto, onto the timber. And you can see actually what I've got here is it's perhaps a little bit light on the um, on the pigmentation, um, so we could add, always add a little bit more um, a bit a bit more pigment to it to get a slightly thicker consistency. But this is essentially it. That's linseed paint. So obviously, what we do in the factory is we use um, you know, triple rollers, to make it on a much larger scale. But this is this is it. I hope that was useful. Um, at least you now also understand the difference in weight between. Uh, a one liter uh, tin of, of our paint and a liter of a conventional paint because you'll feel the weight. Anyway, enough of me going on about this. That was it. Bugger off now.